Prince Harry furious after discovering Charles played part in royal emotional betrayal. Prince Charles' involvement in curbing Prince Harry's active military service sparked tensions between them, according to royal commentators. In 2007, the Duke of Sussex was secretly deployed in Afghanistan but had to return to the UK after only 10 weeks when his cover was blown by foreign media. Channel 5 documentary, Charles and Harry, Father and Son Divided, explored how this affected the family relationship. The narrator told viewers, a furious Harry seemed to hold the press responsible for his mother's death and for the curb on his service career. Then he discovered that his father was involved too. Royal author Tom Quinn said, unfortunate for Charles that he was implicated in the decision to recall his son. It was another example of Charles the father doing something that Harry the son didn't like. He continued, Harry must have been saying, look, here we go again. Journalist Bidisha added, he must have been asking, are my father and the world's media actually working together? The next one in a long line of emotional betrayals that have come from the people who are really the closest to him. The narrator claimed Charles' involvement in removing Harry from the theater of conflict was motivated by a desire to protect his son. In an interview from The Time, Charles said, as a parent, you worry the whole time. If you're out here perhaps you're getting on with everything. But for everybody left behind it's ghastly. Relationship psychologist Angela Mutanda explained the Prince of Wales' point of view. She told Channel 5, as a parent, he would have been in protection mode, as the son, Harry, would have been saying trust me, I know what I'm doing, don't interfere. Typically that would have brought its own internal tensions between father and the son. Their idea of the right thing is very different. Prince Harry served in army for 10 years and rose to the rank of captain before stepping down in 2005. He has maintained a close connection with former servicemen and women through the creation of the Invictus Games.